Hello, it's Danielle Brigette here from teachingonlineheadquarters.com, where I give you tips and tricks for teaching online. Today, I want to talk to you about OutSchool. What should you teach on OutSchool? I'm going to give you my top 10 tips for class ideas in this video. First of all, OutSchool offers many, many different types of classes that you can teach. The first one is a one-time class, like my painting class, where you can just paint a llama one time with me. Then there's also multi-day classes. They meet over several days. So my art summer camps are multi-day classes. They meet a total of four days for only 55 minutes each day. So Monday and Wednesday for 55 minutes for two weeks, I'll be teaching the art summer camp. There's also ongoing classes, and these meet weekly like a club or a subscription. And this is where learners can join and leave anytime. It's really just like a club. And then you have flex classes. These are pre-recorded classes that learners can take on their own time, but you must have a high level of engagement, which means you might have to have some creativity like Flipgrid or something like that, where you can still interact with the students, even though you're not directly teaching them in the class live. So here are my 10 tips for brainstorming class ideas. Number one, ask yourself, hmm, what am I passionate about? Whatever that answer is, there's your class idea. Passionate about Harry Potter? Create a Harry Potter class. Passionate about braiding hair? Braid hair for a class. Passionate about drawing? Drawing class. Passionate about horses and you have a farm? Maybe you have a horse club or a farm club where the kids get to go with you daily around your farm. Hmm. Really, the sky is the limit and it's really going to be a great class because you're super passionate about it. So make sure that that's your first step when you're brainstorming. Tip two, ask yourself, what lessons have I already made in my brick and mortar teaching job? So I'm assuming in this one that you're already a classroom teacher. So you've already created lessons before. How can you convert those lessons that you've already made to teach them on our school? Just tweak a little bit for online. Tip three, ask yourself, hmm, what homeschool curriculum do I already teach? Well, this is also assuming that you're a homeschool teacher, and if you're not, maybe skip to step four. So there's so many people homeschooling right now, and some of them, they don't know how to teach their kids that new homeschool curriculum that they just bought. So make sure you request the rights from the publisher to teach it, and then just teach it on our school. Tons of classes, tons of lessons that you already know because you teach them to your kids. Tip number four, think about what do your own children like to learn? What do I like teaching them? Then teach that. My kid loves to make slime. So her and I created a slime summer camp that I'm gonna teach on our school this summer. Perfect. Tip five, what is your kid crazy about? Are they crazy about unicorns? Dinosaurs, painting, crafting, braiding, makeup, Minecraft, Roblox, whatever your kid loves, make a class on that because guess what? All the other kids love it too. Tip six, what games do you like to play and what games do your kids like to play? Make a class or a club on that. Now, we're at tip seven. And if you still can't think of anything yet, Go ask your friends and family what they think you should teach, because I bet you they have a few ideas. Tip eight, still need ideas? Hmm. OutSchool sends out a weekly list of classes that are available for learners to take. So the emails, they come from Amir at OutSchool, and this email is called This Week on OutSchool, Classes You May Like. So this email has tons and tons and tons of classes that are listed, and they might just spark an idea for you. Tip nine, do you wish you can find out what OutSchool parents want? What classes do they want? OutSchool sends out an email from Nick at OutSchool that is called Your Teaching on OutSchool, and then it has a number. Whatever that number is, I think last week was 339, that is the number of new requests that parents have sent in for classes. And it basically just is a list of all the requests. There's a little button next to that that says, offer class. If you click the offer class button, you can create that class right then. 
and it will send a message to the parents that you are making a class that they requested. Last but not least, my number 10 tip to figure out what classes you will teach on OutSchool. Hmm, here it is. Join the OutSchool Facebook pages. Some of these pages directly interact with the OutSchool parents and they ask for class suggestions. So you can ask parents, do you think this is a good class that your kid might like? If not, what could I do to change it? You can directly market to parents on these Facebook pages and get their honest feedback. Here's a few of the OutSchool Facebook pages that I joined. Well, there's the official OutSchool Facebook page. And then there's a few other ones like online teaching with OutSchool, online classes with OutSchool, OutSchool Beginner's Guide to Successful Teaching, OutSchool Teacher Village, and of course, you can always go to my Facebook page, Teacher Danielle, and you can find lots of tips and tricks. So I hope that this video helped you, and I hope that now you have a lot of ideas for classes. If you are just now thinking about joining OutSchool, I would love to help you through the interview process. So please send me a message at teachingonlineheadquarters at gmail.com and go visit my website at www.teachingonlineheadquarters.com where you can download a free OutSchool application checklist that will walk you right through the steps on how to get hired at OutSchool. If this video helped you brainstorm ideas for your OutSchool classes, please give it a like and subscribe and click the bell so you can find out when my next video comes out. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And go visit my website at www.teachingheadquarters. Teaching. Uh, bye.